Hi, Virgo. Yeah, I wasn't even um, ready. And I started the camera and it wasn't ready. And I feel kind of that's like a running theme. <laughs> it's like for Virgos in July, the running theme is, is they're going to start everything and they're not even ready to start it. <laughs> I know how incredibly exhausting things are right now. And I get it. And I want you guys to know that you're not alone. First of all, Mercury will be in retrograde starting July 7th. Get the t-shirt. Uh, I'm wearing it now and I'm showing you guys now so that you have time to get it before the retrograde happens. It's actually, it, you may not even get it before the retrograde happens, but you'll get it during the retrograde, I'm sure. Um, also, Freddie Mercury was a Virgo. Thank you very much. And he was an amazing man, too. So, uh, yeah, this eclipse season that we're going to go through, this Mercury retrograde that we're going to go through, just take deep breaths because you guys can handle it. That's the thing is make sure that you're resting. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Make sure that you are allowing yourself the time and space and energy to breathe. Um, because it may not be the easiest season to go through. This cancer season or during July may not be the easiest time, but you have so many coals in the fire. You have so many seeds that you've already planted coming up to this time. This eclipse is really, really, really going to help you catapult yourself into a really new experience in your life, a really new time and season and and um you want to be ready for it okay so first and foremost make sure you're taking care of your energy i know you guys can get depleted very easily because you work yourselves to the bone try not to do that right now listen to your body if you're and i'm telling i'm talking to myself too you guys know that i do the same thing um if you need to relax, if you need to rest, make sure that you're allowing yourself to do that. I will be doing an event in Kansas City on June 28th. That's in just four days from now. Today is the 25th, or actually it's three days from now. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and I will be in St. Louis on July 6th. It's a Saturday. It'll be during the day. And I will be in Chicago August 3rd, which is also a Saturday during the middle of the day. And I will be headed out west towards the end of August, middle to the end of August. So I'll be in LA and San Francisco the weekend of August 23rd and 24th. And I will be celebrating my 40th birthday in Portland, Oregon. So um, right now uh, we have the Kansas City, St. Louis, and everything should be up on the website by the end of this month. But for right now... Um, I think we're missing Chicago and Portland, Oregon right now. So um, those will be up there shortly. Make sure that you're double checking. Also, I'm doing daily readings. So if you want to get some daily energy updates, check me out on the daily readings. Um, I don't just do energy updates there. I also do a lot of like updates with, you know, the traveling schedule and all that stuff. And I am still going to be doing personal readings during this time. Um, <clears throat> you know, just when we can, not a ton, but just when we can, um, they're still on sale. The personal readings are still on sale and I have some openings in July. So make sure you're getting that, getting, getting those. If you want to do that, if you're not able to come see me in any of those cities, I really hope that Kansas city, I hope it fills up because my hometown. I don't even know. It's with a yoga studio. I haven't talked to the guy, so I don't know yet, but I don't know what it looks like yet. I can be honest with you guys about that because you're my friends. <laughs> um, why are you so afraid of, of being successful? Why are you so afraid of so you could, let's get to the obvious first. 
you could have had a conversation with an Aquarius that put you up in your head and made you really super anxious and um, cut you down to size. Getting that out of the way. I feel like a lot of this has to do with your goals and your dreams and your hopes. <coughs> I don't feel like, I feel like a lot, I feel like most of this is about you and it's really not about anybody else. And what do I mean when I say that? I mean, I feel like a lot of your fears and a lot of the reasons why you feel like you're holding yourself back or you're being held back are because of you. You are your biggest fear. You are your worst blockage. So how do we change that? If you've ever done an alignment session with me, you know I'm really good about giving homework, and you also know that I'm really good about um, telling you that when you are self-deprecating, that critical self-talk that loops in your mind over and over and over again is a big fat lie. You are literally lying to yourself when you beat yourself up. So what I want you to do from now on, and this is what I teach in my one-on-one -on -one alignment sessions and what I'll actually be teaching when I go to these cities and I do these events in the cities, we're going to teach ourselves how to come into alignment with ourselves, right? Because ultimately, we are the only ones that can sabotage our future. So what I want you to do is every time you start to talk to yourself in a negative way, I want you to stop and I want you to say, would I say that to somebody that I love? Would I say that to my best friend or to my mom or to my sister or to my brother or to my significant other? And if the answer is no, then don't say it to yourself because you should be your best friend. Now, if you're dealing with an earth sign, things are getting much easier. If this is you, king of pentacles, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> I've tend to be, I've been in my masculine energy a lot lately just because I'm like really focused on work and I'm really focused on getting things done and manifesting a lot of things in my life. Here's the thing is with the six of swords, it's actually a lot more, I literally want to say it this way. Okay. It's actually a lot more, it's, it's smoother sailing than you think it is. It doesn't have to be so hard, Virgo. Things are, are actually much better than you think they are. A lot smoother than you think they are. So let's get one more card. Yep, there it is. You could also be dealing with a Libra where things are getting a lot easier than they were in the past. This could also have a lot to do with karmic retribution and things balancing out in your life. Like, oh, wow, I've been waiting for that balance. This Ace of Swords is a gift of knowledge from the universe. It's like, um, the uni like, like source is literally putting these ideas and nudges into your head to push you forward and make you bigger. And here you sit in agony in the middle of all of it. And that anxiety state of your biggest fear is being successful. Your biggest fear is being recognized, your biggest fear is just you. Now is not the time to be afraid of who you are. Now is the time to step into your greatness. Your planet is going retrograde again in Leo and then back into Cancer. Ooh, I just said step into your greatness. Now is the time 
for you to step into your greatness and what comes out judgment on the star. The star is about your hopes and dreams. The star is about balancing out your heart and your mind. The star is everything you could have wished for. And the universe is saying, I'm supporting you. And it's time for you to take action. And it's time for you to move forward. So what are you waiting for? Why are you still in bed agonizing over all the things that could go wrong? Oh my God. All the things that could go wrong, Virgo, really? <laughs> no. Just because Mercury is going retrograde doesn't mean everything is going to go wrong. Make it more Freddy and less retrograde. Make it more fabulous and less retrograde. Let's see what this Nine of Swords is. Let's see what this Nine of Swords really, really is. Like, let's get the truth. The God's honest truth on the Nine of Swords. All right, Virgo, let's see. Deep breath. Ooh. Could be a Scorpio that's giving you, I had to giggle. <laughs> I had to giggle at that. Um, could be a Scorpio that's putting you up in your head. Okay. Could be this huge transformation that you're going through. Could be this huge transition that you're going through. And allowing yourself to move through this because of your greatness is not going to be easy. There are some ego deaths that have to happen here. Ooh, bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles. Sorry, I have two. <sighs> Carrying around this mane all day long, it's it's not an easy thing to do. Uh, let's see, the sword, the ace of swords. Yeah, this is all of that information, all of that... These are those downloads that you've been feeling. It's so funny. Like I'll talk about in the daily readings about the downloads that I've been getting and people are like, what does that even mean? And I'm like, it's literally information from source. But these are the nudges from the universe. This is the nudge from the universe that's pushing you forward in tremendous, tremendous ways. There could be a lot of communication that's coming in. There could be, it's just a lot of fast movement with that eight of wands. It's a lot of, you could actually even be moving in July as well. There could be like real actual movement or traveling in July. So um, you have to stand tall and you have to stand firm. Now, if you're dealing with another earth sign and this king of pentacles is not you, you're dealing another dealing with another earth sign, um, there are celebrations and unions to be had with people that you are very, very close to. See, Virgo, one of the things that we are really good at is making a mountain out of a molehill. If one little thing doesn't work out right, we end up in the Nine of Swords. Like, there, I mean, it's not a Virgo reading without the Nine of Swords, honestly. Like, if we're going to be real with each other... Let's be honest and real with each other. The fast movement is going to put you in the Nine of Swords. You stepping into your power is going to put you in the Nine of Swords. Any kind of transition that you have to make is going to put you into the Nine of Swords. Why? What happens with mutable earth, right? What happens when the earth actually moves? It quakes. It's an earthquake. It's the movement of earth, right? So you have to understand where your footing is. You have to understand where you're standing tall, and where you're allowing other people to help you. You have people in your corner. You also have a very stable person in your corner. If it's not an earth sign, it's somebody that just represents stability for you. You have somebody, you have people in your corner, Virgo, that are helping you out, that are getting you into an easier existence. That is <sighs> trying to help you transition in the smoothest way possible. And what are you doing? Probably blocking it. Seven of Wands on the Six of Swords. And why would you do such a thing? 
because you want people to think that you can do it all on your own. <laughs> it's okay to have a little humility and say, I need some help. Balance. It's all about balance. And as we transition through summer and we get through this eclipse season, we get through the total solar eclipse on July 2nd, we get through the Capricorn lunar, partial lunar eclipse on July 19th. There are things that are going to be removed from your life, but the reason why they're being eclipsed out of your life The reason why they're being eclipsed out of your life is so they could be, so room can be made for all the good things, right? You need to have more room in your life for the good things. Stop blocking it. Don't block your blessings. It's time to step into to your birthright. It's time to step into your power and into your birthright. So we oh, see that page of pentacles is showing up again. There's this diminished quality that you keep on bringing yourself back to, you know, and I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I know why we do it. I know why we have that self deprecating mode, but this is why I said you need to rest as much as possible. So you're not anxious about the transitions and what's coming. So you could be dealing with a Taurus. That could be this other earth sign. But with the Hierophant on the Justice card, it feels very much like there is a needed balance between your spirituality and your life. You know what I mean? It's like there's this um, societal um, balance that's really, really needed. Like, or this, this balance between society and spirituality, the 3D and the 5D. Like, what does this all mean? But what am I supposed to be doing here? There is, it, it's, there's a destiny that you're really like stepping into you you are i just want to keep saying you're stepping into your power but you don't feel like it and that's the transition that you have to make you're walking into a new way of life a new way of thinking a new way of being a new way of existing but you're not you're not seeing it You're holding on to the notion that you're much smaller than you think you are. Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Four of Pentacles. You're holding on to the notion that you're much smaller than you think you are. And yet, the Six of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords and the Four of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, oh, damn, and the Ace of Wands with the Ten of Wands. Um, you're holding on to the notion that you have to think, you have that, that you are much smaller than you think you are, and yet your victory is in your independent abundance that you're already creating. You're already creating it. The Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune is saying exactly what I said in the very beginning. Be very discerning of your energy because the shift is real. The shift is happening. But And I, I love that the Queen of Swords came out because I often see Virgos as the Queen of Swords. I know that we're Earth signs. I'm aware. Um, but we're also ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is air. It's, very, it's communication, right? And the Queen of Swords is very air-like. You could also be dealing with the Libra energy, like I said, or another air sign, Gemini or Aquarius. Aquarius is up here as well. But that Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords, be very discerning about your energy and where you're placing it and where you're allowing yourself to be big and be small, okay? Because the shift that you created, by the way, you did this, is very real. That Wheel of Fortune is turning. It is happening. You did it. Congratulations, Virgo. Um, Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands. 
you did all the hard work for that gift. That very passionate, fiery gift. So now what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with all that hard work? Just going to throw it all away? Or are you going to step into your power? Could be arguing with some people that are also in authority as well. But I feel like towards the end of July, now we're going to be in Mercury retrograde until July 31st. Starts off in Leo on the 7th of July, moves back into Cancer, and when it goes direct again on the 31st, it goes direct in Cancer and moves back into Leo, and we'll be back in Leo until August 11th. So, um... Not the worst Mercury retrograde, but not going to be super easy because of those eclipses that we're also going to deal with during that time. So um, when you get that spark, push yourself. When you need to chill, chill. Don't overextend your energy right now, Virgo, because there's so much that you have to look forward to in August. And I want you to um, allow yourself to see all the blessings. Before they even show up, I want you to be able to allow yourself to see all of them, okay? I love you guys. Make sure you're coming to visit me while I'm doing these events. I don't get to get out very much and I love, love doing them. So um, I wanna be able to meet you all. Uh, Let's see. I don't really have any other announcements. Um, my um, readings are still on sale. Not sure how long they're going to be on sale. Um, I am going to get another batch of necklaces coming out in a couple of weeks. Make sure you're watching my daily readings for energy updates and just regular updates that I'll be giving you as well. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.